Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's JPR, and today we get a lot of Pokemon Sun and Moon info. At first, it really wasn't all that much. There was just the, the English trailer that we got, and then we got a lot of little Japanese trailers and a lot of screenshots, and I decided to heck with it instead of trying to condense all of that info into a 5 or 10 minute video, I'll just go ahead and break each one into topics. So I'm going to make a lot of other videos today uh, talking about the other stuff that was revealed. But the first topic I really want to address is the new map that we get to see of the Alola region with all five islands. So let's get started down here in the lower right hand corner. The main thing that really catches your attention is that giant peak of ice there, like right in the middle. Uh, you see a Pokemon Center there, but I'm not really seeing any other buildings there. Like maybe there's like some housing structures like inside the ice. That would be pretty cool. Uh, so I don't know if it's a town or what. Maybe it's like a post-game location, like to catch like an ice type legendary or something. But at the same time, I really hope it's part of the main storyline because it looks like a really cool location. And I'm really glad to see that even though we're in a very tropical region, that we still have very diverse areas. I mean, look just to the right, you see like this desert there. I mean, that's pretty neat, a desert next to a really icy mountain. And then if you look down below, uh, there's like a little shrine like out there in the middle of the water. There's islands. There's all kinds of things on this island. I mean, even the towns. I mean, there's a ton of towns. Have you guys counted the Pokemon Centers on here? If you count the Pokemon Centers, there's like five or six of them. Like, I mean, I'm aware that a Pokemon Center doesn't automatically mean there's going to be a town there. Like, sometimes there's like Pokemon Centers just put in the middle of routes, mainly in like Kanto and Johto, I think there were a few. But just look at all the towns here, I mean, even for these really small islands, they're able to cram a lot of things on here. It looks like we have kind of like a mountain town there in the west, and then if you go a little bit to the north, there's like kind of like this Japanese tower in there, so maybe it's kind of like an older city. And then if you look in the upper left-hand corner, there is like a freaking town surrounded by a wall. I mean... All of these towns are so diverse and unique. This is going to be a really fun region to explore, especially this island. So moving on to the second island, you can definitely tell the main attraction is going to be the volcano right there. Uh, but if you move a little bit to the south, there's like a little garden as well. And uh, in between the two, there's this big building. Maybe that's a gym. It kind of looks like a gym. It's hard to tell because the gyms really don't look like anything since like Gen 5. Like they all look different. Also, if you look to the south on that beach, that brown building also kind of looks like a gym. But the main thing on this island that I really want to talk about are those, like, man-made waterfalls over there on the left. I assume that they're man-made because they definitely don't look natural. But from what I can tell, these are, like, the only waterfalls in the entire Alola region. Like, maybe there's some in the caves. Like, you know, you never know. Uh, but if you remember back to Pokemon X and Y, of course there was that backpacker guy who made like a lot of references to Alola, like saying, okay, you guys will see the new region in due time. But there was also a lady in the Coralway Hotel who said that somewhere in the world, there is a waterfall that flows backwards. Now, looking at it closely, you'll see, oh, well, the water is hitting down, so obviously it's not flowing backwards. But, like I said... It's man-made, and there's probably something up here, because this looks like a pretty unique location as well. So maybe there's like a little switch or something that makes it like flow backwards. Maybe it has something to do with Magirna. I mean, God knows, there's so many things that this could be related to. And I don't think that lady was talking about the waterfall in the distortion world. So if it's in the main Pokemon world, then I'm definitely suspicious about this place right here. Now moving on to the third island, I think this is definitely going to be the island where you start the game. Uh, you can see all the locations that were in that first trailer, including that really big city with the really big uh, street there on the south. I'm guessing that your hometown is going to be somewhere around that mountain in the middle of the island. Uh, you can see like the little stage where the first Pokemon battle takes place. We already saw that in an earlier trailer. Unlike the previous two islands though, it appears there's only like maybe two or three towns in this entire island. So it's pretty small in comparison. Now moving on to this fourth island over here, I think this is definitely going to be an island towards the end of the game. I mean, just look at it. It is mostly uninhabited. It is very wild, very natural. I mean, you have like the little dock to the south, but that's pretty much it. The rest of it is like a jungle. And the reason I think it's towards the end of the game is because if you look right here, that looks very similar to the scene in the first trailer where uh, Lunala and Solgaleo appear at the shrine. So after looking at all the islands, like, this is the only place where it looks like the legendary mascots could appear at. 
So I'm definitely expecting a really big showdown between you and the evil team like there in the ruins. I think it'd be pretty cool to do it on an isolated island away from pretty much everything. If you look a little bit to the south, that also looks like kind of a deserted island. Like, I hope that's maybe like a safari zone or something. Like, I've always wanted there to be like a tiny little island that you could like fly out to or sail out to where there's nothing but Pokemon. Like, it's not even part of the mainland. Like, that's, that'd be a pretty cool idea. And that's probably not what it is. Uh, but I really hope it is. If it's like a little safari zone on its own island, that would be really cool. And all the way on the other side of the map, you can see this very tiny island shrouded in the clouds. Very mysterious, look out for that. But even after all of that, we still have no idea where our Pokemon League is. Like, usually you can look at a map and tell where the League is gonna be, like, within 15 seconds. But here, it's a little bit more difficult. But if I had to guess, it's probably going to be on the fifth major island here. They say it's an artificial island, and so I wouldn't doubt if it was built just for the Elite Four. And apparently it's supposed to be like a Pearl Harbor shrine, so having the Elite Four there would definitely be a pretty nice touch. So what do you guys think about the Alola region map? Is there anything that I missed? Honestly, I'm loving the diversity. I love the island idea. I think there's gonna be a lot of stuff to explore. It looks like there's a lot of places where you can just go off the path and explore deeper than you have in any other region yet. So I'm really excited. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I'll see you guys next time.